Good morning, everyone. Today's workout Wednesday. Hopefully you guys will get a chance to watch this video. Here at Finville Middle School, we all miss you very much, so we're trying to keep in touch with you. Um, today's video is going to include a mixture of some different things. First, we're gonna show you some typical workouts or exercises that you could do around the house. Um, most of you probably have a step somewhere. This is my backyard, um, but we have stairs inside and we have a couple steps in the garage or on the front porch. So stairs are something easy that you can use in a typical workout. Um, just a couple activities uh, that might work well for you are um, step ups. In a step up, you are literally just going to step up one foot, then the other foot, then down one foot, then the other foot. Um, you can time yourself for a minute if you would like, or you can count out how many times you want to do it. If you feel slightly off balance, you can always use handrails. You can put your hands on your hip. Um, just make sure that you're safe, um, cautious, don't get hurt. So in a typical step up, step down, your feet are about shoulders width apart. You're just working, as I said, to put one foot up, then the other foot, then one foot down, then the other foot. You can go as slow as or as fast as needed, keeping your balance. Make sure that your knees are bent. Okay, and as I said, you can either do a time limit or you can do a number, your choice, okay? So that's the first one, step up. The second one is called a toe tap. I don't know if you can see my feet, so I'm gonna move down here to the other Sorry, step. Sorry, I have a friend trying to help out here. This is Chewy. Um, toe taps are just like they say. You're literally just tapping your toe again. Um, feet are about shoulders width apart. Uh, I always like to put my hands on my hips. It tries to, or kind of helps me stay balanced. And again, you can either work on a time limit or a number. So, toe taps, just like they said, alternating feet, one foot, then the other. Okay, so two very easy exercises. Um, another one that you can do, again, so far all we focused on are our legs. But another easy exercise with steps, again, safety first, be cautious, are hops. You can either put your hands on your shoulders again, or on your hips, or you can have them out in front of you. It's your choice. But you're just working feet about shoulders width apart, knees bent, hopping up, hopping down. Hopping up, hopping down. Oh, look, she wants to help again. Okay, so very, very basic. Um, Obviously, since I have several steps, I could use them for just walking, okay? Walking up, all the way, walking down, all the way. Use what you have in the house. Welcome back. So, a couple other additional things that we can do with steps around the house to work a little bit more on the upper body are push-ups and dips. Those are both very easy to do. It's a little bit easier if your step is a little bit wider. Um, so, I'm going to use this step instead. If push-ups aren't your strong suit, then use the step that is a couple steps up, just like in class. For those of you who've had PE before, we do wall push-ups, where we place our hands on the wall and we use our body weight. Same thing can be done with the stair. So if you're not very good at stairs, you can go out a few. If, or if you're not very good at push-ups, you can go out a few. If you're really good and strong at push-ups, you can use the last one. But again, um, this is not ideal because of the place. I'd probably honestly do most of this in my front yard um, because my concrete is a little bit wider. But you could use your bottom step to do a push-up, going down, coming back up. You can work on arms, either going out or under. As you can tell, Mrs. McNeil struggles in the upper body. <laughs> Um, you can also do dips, working the back of your arm. Okay, again, you can either use your bottom or the second step up. Put your legs out in front of you. You're dipping your body down. Try not to let your, your backside, your derriere, your gluteus maximus, touch the step um, beneath you. But you're going down and up. Um, again, I would probably um, count. I like to count. I don't typically do timed exercises it's just easier when I'm working by myself um, but you can do this by yourself with a family member 
Um, so these are more traditional exercises. As I said, go in the house. These are outside. Go in the house. If you've got stairs in the house, maybe, or in your garage, you can go into your pantries and try to find canned food and use them as little weights. They're probably only going to weigh about one pound each. But if there's something around the house that you can use for your upper body, um, we have there are tons of things that you can do inside. Uh, my children and I are going to show you some fun activities here in just a second that you can also do outside to get some exercise too. Hey, hello again. Um, so now we're moving on to some activities that if you have a basketball and a hoop, or here in a minute we're going to go on a trampoline, just some different fun things that you can do around the house if it's not raining. Um, so the first activity is called PID. Super easy. You and one other person or you and several other people can play this outside if you've got a basketball. And a hoop. If you don't have a basketball and a hoop, you can use any kind of ball. Um, you could use a soccer ball. You could use a volleyball. Um, you could create your own hoop. You could take a hula hoop and put it on the ground somewhere. Um, you could take sidewalk chalk and create your own hoop on concrete, maybe in your driveway or a sidewalk. You can get really creative. Um, but the way it works, the actual game, the way it works is the first person attempts from wherever they want and the second person must follow. If the first person misses the shot, then the second person can shoot from wherever they want. If the first person makes the shot, then I must follow from that spot. If I make it, I'm safe. If I miss it, I get a P, okay? So, and we, you build up, whoever misses keeps getting a letter added to the word until the first person who spells P, that person is unfortunately the loser and the other person is the winner. So, my handy dandy assistant, Grant, there's Grant. Grant's going to shoot first, and I'm going to follow. So, go ahead, Grant. Oh, Grant missed. So, it's Mrs. McNeil's time. <clears throat> Mrs. McNeil's going to make, or try to make an easy shot. Okay. So, Grant now has to shoot from where I made it. This team made it. We can go shoot from wherever again. Enjoy your time with each other. Play, move around, get up and get going. See you in a sec. Hello again, people. Yes, Mrs. McNeil, the old woman, is up on the trampoline now. So, go have fun. Use it. Jump around and enjoy. My daughter and I like to try to uh, double bounce each other and see who, I don't know, crashes first. <laughs> we also like to... Not that I'm encouraging anyone anywhere to do flips. No, no, no. Safety first. But we enjoy jumping, 
we enjoy trying to create routines or to mimic each other. Um, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> we like to try to do flips. I haven't done a backflip in a very long time, so we'll save that for another day. Um, yeah, just get out, have fun. Uh, it doesn't have to be exercises. It's just activity. Enjoy what you have. Okay, see you in a minute. So if you have bikes around the house, another good one to get outside is a bike ride. Nice and easy and simple. All right, and they're off. I won't tell you that Nikki broke her collarbone trying to ride with no hands. So again, as always, stay safe. So in conclusion, just get out if you can, be active. If you can't get outside because of the weather or because of where you're at, do something inside, as we showed you with the stairs, or um, you can do sit-ups, you can do push-ups, you can do lunges, okay? You can do squats, all right? There are all kinds of resources out on the internet. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more relaxing, there is yoga ed videos that will take you through some relaxation and some um, yoga poses. Um, but if, all else, if you can't get out, get out, okay? Take the dog. Okay, go with a family member or a friend and go for a walk, okay? Hope you had a good workout Wednesday. See you later, guys. Bye.